Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about my experience going to Obudukato Ranch. I have another vlog on Cross River State, but I just want to talk about Obudukato Ranch because unfortunately for me, my phone battery was dead. I didn't even realize that my camera for snapping pictures can actually do a vlog. So guys, for not knowing my camera, I can actually do a video for you guys. But anyway, mm. now I know. Hope I'm forgiven. If I'm not, well, we move. So I'm going to talk about how you need to know about going to Obudukatu Ranch. Obudukatu Ranch is actually located in Kwashiba State and funny enough we got to discover that the fact that it is located in, it is called Obudukatu Ranch does not mean that it is located in Obudu, right? And visiting Kwashiba State, it took me one and a half day to get there. Then I stopped in Calabar. That's the biggest mistake of my life. If I knew I wanted to go to Obodukatu Ranch, I shouldn't have bothered to go to Calabar. And the best bet for me would have been Ogoja. From Ogoja down to Obudu, then to the local government where the ranch is, it's quite shorter compared to when you now go all the way from Calabar. From Calabar down to Obudu, it's one full day too. Or almost one full day because the, it's almost seven to eight hours. Then when you factor in the bad roads, that's a whole lot. So my experience has just been dance most, dance most <laughs> to the Gatuman. So you some big videos for you to realize that you can just avoid the stress if you don't have anything you're looking for in Kalapa and your aim in Cross River State is to go and see the ranch. Please just go to Ogoja. If you're coming from Lagos, go to Ogoja. If you're from Bodakot, go to Ogoja. From Ogoja, you can spend the night, look for a motel or hotel, look for places to stay i will also link below the where you can book for hotels that are budget friendly in ogoja in calabar if you still yeah, stop one and you say you want to go to calabar and you have other places on to explore in calabar definitely do you i if you want to check calabar, like calabar is a good idea where i stayed in calabar was close to the university which is unica that's mary's lesson and it was a fun place to be because i was among students you know but anyway so how do you go to Obudu? First things first, like I said earlier, please go through Ogoja if possible. Because it will save you, just go through the stress of travel, especially when you're coming from the West here. Yeah. The stress of traveling one day or one and a half day, just know you've gone through it once. Instead of going through stress of travel back to back to back, I've still not recovered from the stress. So I will tell you, go through Ogoja. From Ogoja, you can now get under bus going to Obudu. Very easy to get from there. Then when you get to Obudu, you would now have to take another car going to the um, ranch itself. I highly recommend you use car. They will always try to convince you because my experience was very very asking you for directions and you begin to do the most or begin to give me up that I didn't ask for. All my senses become high. Like, what do you want? Do you want to just follow me there? Why are you so nice? Is it is that how people are nice in this country? Funny enough, just like I always expect, this woman turned out wanting to be dubious. She left the food she was selling. I was looking for this, recommending things for us, doing this. We almost bought a sweater of 7,500. <laughs> just because she was being honest, she was really nice, which is annoying. When you're going, the safest way for me, I recommend to go to the ranch is through a car. You always get one around. Obudu there and if you don't get you take a bike to there's a different local government that it will take you to then from there you get a ran a boat a car going to the ranch. So I can't really remember the local government right now but that area I were able to find a very nice for landing my his name is Boari <laughs> funny you know and it took us around tour in the ranch and it, if we should look at the amount of charges just to tour the ranch it was about three thousand naira. Okay if you wonder why three thousand naira within the ranch the ranch is big the environment is really really very very big the the the, the road is steep they're actually climbing up to the mountain so when you're getting closer to the ranch you will see the big mountain and if i knew that we're going to actually climb that mountain itself the clouds are always gathered there then the road is very very steep so imagine when you are climbing on that kind of steep road that is windy climbing up a mountain and you're on a bike for someone that doesn't live there, for someone that is a stranger or a tourist, you have to be in your mouth. Except you are such that never happened. They will claim that when you're on a bike, you will see everything. 
They are lying to you because when you get to the top of the mountain, you will see everything. They will take you on the tour of the facilities. You will see the mountain. You will see the down bottom hill where you came from. You will see a whole lot of stuff from the top mountain. So while try to say you want to take him a whole lot, then you will not climb back. Man, I'm here for you. Funny enough, the cloud is such that when we got there, it was pouring hard. So imagine being on the bike and rain was falling. I, <laughs> I almost cussed the woman out for being so unnecessarily nice. But I took my own advice. We ignored her. We took a bike to the local government where we eventually now took another car. So I if you say the local government or another district or an area, this area, whether it's you saw I can't remember the name. So anyway, so it's just best to use a car when you're touring over the ranch. So how much does it cost? It cost um <laughs> you let's say it cost a ham and a leg. <laughs> to for the ranch so one thing that is true you will spend a whole lot of money when you're touring but there's one thing i have noticed the price listing at there is best to just pay at the reception make your options of what you know you want to tour the thing is best things i wanted to tour the facilities which is generally that's about one thousand per person then go to the waterfall they have a mini waterfall they a very nice relaxing environment any other thing they are offering you it's not worth the money there is even the canopy work why i didn't bother because it was raining all through so when i'm told that the best time to actually go to the ranch is during the dry season which is the amatan season and funny enough during that amatan season everywhere will be very 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 cold you know if you did your basic geography eh, we were told that that part of Nigeria, it is the rainforest. <laughs> the rainforest with the tall trees and the rain that comes with its name. So it was always rainy, and if it's not rainy, it's very, very cold and amatanish. So that's what really happens in that area. But I would say, when you're going there, maybe you should go during that dry season. But during the rainy season, get ready to be rainy, to rain to wet you, and then it will be dry. I will show you the picture we snapped of the typical place where everybody have to snap when they go to the Obodo, the head of the castle to show that I went on a castle ranch. I will insert the picture, you will see how cloudy it is when it's raining. So dark, you can't even see yourself. <laughs> so, yeah, things to do. I said it, you should go to the canopy walk if you're feeling adventurous. You can go to the waterfall, which is a very nice place to lounge and stay and just have fun. It has a natural pool where you can actually swim. If you feel like dipping yourself in the water, you can swim, pull off. The water goes into the waterfalls. Normally, when you go to all these waterfalls, you go to the edge of the waterfall. But that part of the waterfall itself is not safe. So there's a way they be able to control the water into a natural pool, like a small, like a swimming pool. But this is naturally made, and you can go inside. The water that flows from the waterfall comes into it, and it is clean because the water keeps changing, keeps pouring and flowing down the cliff. So that's an interesting thing to explore. Apart from the waterfall, the canopy walk, the tour of the facilities, then there are cable cars, we were able to explore that. Then also I noticed that you can actually stay in the lodge in Obudukati Ranch. So if you're such that you don't you are ready to go through the stress, Kalaba and all that, I will highly recommend that if you're going to Obudu and you want to get to Obudu and the ranch itself that same day because the way I'm describing it, you it takes a full day <laughs> to get to Obudu. Then uh, almost a full day, maybe six, seven hours. Then from there to the ranch, it's almost three to four hours. That's how many hours they did, you know. So if you want to just spend the night in the ranch, it's possible. So whenever you check their website, you wonder why the price is seem like 75, 80, 100. And so they give out their villas. As it, the villas, the one the tour guy told us was 75,000 naira, and it is a three bedroom flat. So it, it is three bedrooms. So if you have if you have like three people that is willing to split the bill, that is equivalent to 25,000 naira per room, which is something we get here in Lagos for a room, uh, an hotel in Lagos, one room hotel in Lagos, 25,000, 20,000. So if you're able to pay that in Lagos, that means you can actually afford that villa. So all you just need is people that you split the bill with. So if you want the villa, you can get like two other people that will join you, people will split the bill for the villa and you spend the nights there in the villa. I took some pictures in the villa we sat for you guys to see. The villa is nice. Then they also have the hut stay. That one too is available for you to stay. If people are staying there. The hut is also a room you can actually book for yourself. I didn't really ask him the price because it was just the villa I was pushing for. Then we went to the presidential lodge where 
the governor always stays whenever he touched down. That was when the from the governor duke then then governor duke was the one that created that part for himself and another governor will be going there so from that part you can see the um, bottom of the cliff you can see the nice nice places the place is very very aesthetically beautiful i will insert pictures i also took there for you guys then i also did a tour of the um, reception they have so many artworks so if you are such that love like artwork nice artsy vibe nice art and craft the chairs are beautiful this everything is just chef kiss so i was that pictures that we took there that place was also looking nice so what's to wear yes what to wear when you go to over the cattle ranch because you wonder what should i wear what should i wear yes there is a whole lot so you have to prepare to go to the ranch. so you're not falling into the trap of people telling you to come and buy what you can really you're not planning for it's not part of your budget so what's to wear when you're, if you know you're going to when you're going to cross river prepare to go with your cardigans your cardigan because the place is always very cold jacket like this was what i planned for but this is not enough to shield you from the cold but if you have to layer it maybe you're wearing a turtleneck then you wear this jacket over it perfect for you because it will keep you warm then because most times if you go to the rainy season it may be very very it may drench you if you can get a coat that is like a rain coat better for you that is if you are still such that is adventurous and prefer to use bike to travel then for ladies it's highly preferable you put on trousers because i put on my trouser when i, I wore and you see the picture i took it was trouser under my dress i tried to fold it because i wanted to take pictures and if you see the way the cold rushed me <laughs> it wasn't funny at all so you need trouser please you need trouser for your for your legs and if you don't want to wear trouser you need a very long socks or a pop socks but a pop socks that is not sticky it's not going to do you any favor then for guys to trousers then wear cardigans then if possible if you get cold easily please wear your cardigan that has a hoodie because you will need it then we visited a part of the community yes people have been living there before it was made into a tourist destination so we saw one of the villages they have a very local market they sell um i saw them selling fufu what do they call it i can't even remember the names of them so i just said they had them um, fufu they had some kind of weird snack that more like a beef pepper soup something weird like that you see who different vibe and community there and we saw some cattle grazing at the top of at the edge of the cliff and we're wondering how are they able to stand and no one fall because even with the humans are worried that we will fall so best means of transport for me is to use the car please 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 don't be acting so wise use a car to tour the resort and also check out the prices of the facilities you want to explore don't let anybody come and tell you do this 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 when they are showing you do this 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 add up the money because the money you will spend on the just to tour the facility to explore the facilities and also other things in Jopudu plus the one you used to go back to town plus the one you used to transfer yourself back home all this thing adds up you know because just to tour the facility we spent almost um maybe six to eight thousand naira because we're two that is because we are still within the ranch then our transport from where we took it down and back to the Obudu town was twelve thousand plus so you see all this money adds up so you just best and even our bike man that wanted to go to Ubudu town straight and say he wants to tour the place with us assuming we're going to tour everywhere he was asking to collect 15,000 naira you see we're yeah, going to spend a whole lot to explore Ubudu Katerman I don't know why people always try to you know because you've been there done that we asked some guys that ah, how's Ubudu Katerman oh, this is a waste of time the vibe is no longer there yes we know that place needs a whole lot of innovations we know but it's still fun to be with. it's still a fun place to go to so you see i say i highly recommend it if you want to go there but what i will always say because it is far from everywhere so when you're coming from the west here yeah, please do yourself a favor if you know you are going there please go straight to ogoja from ogoja you're already getting closer go through the streets once and for all don't go to calabar 
except we want to go for the carnival. Don't go to Calabar. And the carnival is during December period, so why go through the stress? There is not really much to see in Calabar town apart from the National Museum. Every other thing is far from each other. They are walking water for this far. It's in Ecom. This water one is far. Everything is far, 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 far from each other. So there is nothing much in Calabar. So why waste your time to go to Calabar? So just go to Ogoja and save yourself the stress. So if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to have another time. Bye guys.